Hello and welcome to the Kennel Connection webinar on what's new in Kennel Connection 6. My name is Scott. I'll be your presenter for this webinar. I can be emailed at scott at bluecrystalsoftware.com or you can call me at 888-486-4343, extension 307. Today we're looking at what's new in Kennel Connection 6. Uh, this is mainly for those of you upgrading from Kennel Connection 5 or thinking of doing so. And on your screen, you should see Kennel Connection 6. And the first thing you're going to notice that's different from Kennel Connection 5 is instead of the drop-down menus to the left, we have a ribbon-style section here. At the top, you'll see we have a quick access toolbar. Here we have some default icons that uh, are highly used in the system. Your Create Client button for new customers, your search engine, uh, creating invoice, finding phone, time clock, module icons, check in and out, and the exit button. These will remain on the top of the screen constantly. Uh, they are not removed. There's no way to remove them. Below that, we have the ribbon. Uh, for those who use Microsoft Word or some other programs like that, you'll notice the recognize the ribbon system. Each tab opens up a new ribbon in which the various options within that tab appear. The ribbon can be minimized by right-clicking in the ribbon bar and selecting min Minimize the Ribbon. When the ribbon is minimized, it will only appear when a tab is selected. In the ribbons, one thing you'll notice new to Kennel Connection 6 is our frequent reports sections. In the far left, we have the reports window where all the reports that are available in the system are accessible. However, we've also created some sections here to the right of frequent, re frequent reports based on modules and miscellaneous reports that are often used throughout the course of a day. So you can select reports from our frequent report sections, but all the reports are also available from the main report section to the left. There are some new features on customer cards. You'll notice that we have an additional line for a second customer name, first and last. So if you have two different customers that own a pet and they have different last names, you no longer need to use hyphens. We've also added additional phone number lines. We now have five. And we've added a second email line. When adding information into these sections for names, phone numbers, and emails, You'll want to keep in mind that the top last name, first name, the top number, and the top email are going to work as the default items in the system. The first and last name at the top are going to be the ones that appear on invoices. Uh, when you print out list of phone numbers, the top number is going to be the main number. When you send emails out, the top email will be the name email. However, if you do a search in Kettle Connection using the binoculars, for example, if you're searching for a last name or an email or a phone number, the search results will include any customer with that item in the second or fourth or fifth line of the phone, name, and email sections as well. So all the items that you enter for names, numbers, and emails are searchable. It's just that the first one of each one is the default that will show on certain reports. We now have a new section as well for emergency contacts. Clicking the Show Emergency Contact Info window will bring open that screen. And we can click OK to close that or to cancel it. If there is no, if, if there is no emergency contact information listed, we'll be alerted in the screen that there is no emergency contact info. We also have a picture panel for customers, just like in Kennel Connection 5. 
although in the new system if you are not going to use the customer pictures you can prevent uh, you cannot use them and if we open up a customer here that does not have them you notice that the pictures do not show and we have an open pick panel as long as you do not open that pick panel the picture panel for customers will remain closed unlike this one here which has already been opened In the Financials tab, we have a new option that's here for uh, emails to customers. We have a do not email invoices to this client. And under payments, we have a do not email receipts to this client. If these are checked and someone decides to try to email them an invoice or receipt, the system will stop them. This is to prevent accidentally sending emails to customers that do not wish to receive them. Now, unlike in Kennel Connection 5, Kennel Connection 6 has all of the financial tabs under one tab called Financial. And unlike Kennel Connection 5, in Kennel Connection 6, you can now open receipts from the payment screen as well and make modifications there. To this extent, the only thing you can't do with an invoice or a receipt from the customer card is delete them. But you are able to open invoices and receipts both and make modifications to them. You'll notice we have a new tab here called Discounts. This gives us the option to create discounts for a specific customer for a specific item. In this situation here, I have a bath discount setup and a pickup setup. So whenever an invoice is created for this customer that includes a bath or a pickup, the corresponding discount will be applied automatically to that invoice. To create that new discount, all we do is click the Add button, which opens up our Discounter. Here we're going to choose the item code, which can be any system option, a system item, product item, or service in the inventory section. In this case, I'll choose a service or maybe a product. And then we choose whether it's a percentage or a dollar amount discount, and then enter the discount and click Save. Once we click OK and close it, that discount is now showing on the customer card and any invoice created for this customer will apply that discount. Also, just like the name, email, and phone number sections, we've added additional sections on the customer card for saving credit card information. You can now save up to three different credit card informations, uh, but just like the name, email, and phone number sections, the default card number, the one at the top, that is going to be the one that shows up if you click the Get Card Info while taking payment in the receipt screen. Pet cards have also had some changes to them. One option that's new is that if you are using the Pet Detect uh, collars. You can print your collars directly from the pet card by clicking the print collar button here under the pet picture. In the vaccination section, we have the other option to get vaccination records from other family pets. So if a customer has multiple pets and they've all been vaccinated at the same time, you can save yourself time entering the dates by selecting the section and clicking get other family pets information and that will port that vaccination information from the other pet to this one. We can also print vaccination lists from here as well, which is a new option. Uh, another new printing option in the pet card is if we go to the module tabs, any of the module tabs we have here, boarding, grooming, training, daycare, pet sitting, we have the option to print the appointment list. With this option, we can select print appointment list, choose the date range we wish to select for printing the report, and this will print a list of all the uh, reservations within that time period. Another minor option we have here on the daycare tab, we now have the option to mark a pet as approved if you have some kind of screening process to approve pets for staying in the daycare. Checking this box will just mark the pet as approved.
a new feature that you're going to see on both pet and customer cards. Is that we now have a packages tab on both the pet and the customer card from where we can sell packages to the customer or the pet. We do have a webinar on the new pet packages set up in Kettle Connection 6. I do recommend that if you're looking for uh, further information regarding this. What I will touch on is that we now have the option to sell packages to both the pet and the customer. Uh, in the case of the pet, they'll work just the same. It'll take decrement a package unit or day upon checkout or invoice creation for that pet. But if you sell the package to the customer, that package will apply to any pets that are owned by the customer. Therefore, you could sell a 10-day daycare package to a customer and have it apply to three different pets whenever they come in to the facility. Packages are now purchased from here, the pet card or the customer card. They can also be purchased from the appointment screen as well. Packages are one of the three major uh, changes to the program. The, one of the other major changes is commission setup for employees. Those familiar with the commission setup in Kennel Connection 5 will remember that we would go to the payroll info here, select commission method, or payment method, in this case commission, and then we would select the commission rate for the employee that would cover any items in the system marked as commissionable. Now we have the additional commissions tab. And selecting on that, we're able to create individual commissions for individual employees for individual items or services in the system. In an example here, I have Marcus, who has a 0% uh, uh, commission on grooming. I can modify that to a more reasonable 5% maybe. This way you can micromanage your, your commissions with each employee, giving them each an individual commission on any item in the system. Uh, the only thing you still cannot do so at this point would be to split commissions between two employees. You can only assign one commission per one employee per item. But with this option now available, uh, we do have commissions greatly expanded within Kennel Connection. I'm going to jump over to the business info section and point out some minor changes to our email setup. If we go to the email tab, we're going to see here we have our outgoing server information for setting up emails. You'll also notice we, we have additional copy emails here. If you're copying emails that you send to a customer to your company email as well, you can send a company copy to additional email addresses. So if you have multiple managers that you want to copy on specific emails, any emails here will be copied as well as the business, in, the business email, which is set up on the main tab here. We also have an auto copy button option. So if we check the box here next to use default email program, when sending emails from a client card, that will use your email program in the, in the computer. And the box next to that, if checking that, that will automatically check the box on any email function in the system that gives you the option to send a copy to your company email. So when this is checked, any email you send that has that option, the option will automatically be checked and a copy will automatically be sent to the company email and any emails listed under additional emails. A new feature we have in the automatic emails, in Kettle Connection 5, we had the option to send confirmation emails automatically when an appointment is created in the system. We've also added thank you emails that can automatically be sent upon checkout. Simply check the box for uh, sending thank you emails on checkout, and then go to the special emails tab at the end, select thank you, and choose your special greeting to add to thank you. And that message will be emailed automatically to any customer in the system once you've checked their pet out.
speaking of emails, I'm going to take us over to the system options section and highlight some of the changes there. And one of those on the global tab is the option to require an email address on a client card. When this box is checked, a customer card will not be able to be saved unless there is an email present in the first email section. Uh, this is There's no bypass for this. It's an all or nothing setting. Uh, if you do have the setting set and you're trying to save a customer that doesn't have an email, you're not going to be able to save it unless you perhaps put a fake email in there. Uh, so don't use this unless you really want to make sure you cannot save or create customers without an email supplied. Also new is include deceased pet on the client explorer. You have the option whether or not deceased pets are shown on the client explorer during the course of a day. Uh, if they're not shown, they will still be in the system marked as deceased. They will just not show up under the customer. We also have warn if no credit card is listed for bookings. So when you're creating a reservation for a customer, it will warn you if that customer does not have credit card information saved. And you'll notice at the bottom, we have additional labels for those additional phone numbers we added to the customer card. So you can change the label to reflect whatever kind of phone numbers you want to be tracking in your system. We have a number of new options on the module tabs. On the boarding tab here, and there's going to be some overlap you'll see as we go into grooming, daycare, etc. On the boarding tab, we have the option to set date or time as blank upon creation of a new booking. So if you want to force your employees to enter the time or date in instead of relying on the default date and time that appear, checking these will require them to enter the date and time. Then we have check on, check on NRA board same family pets. That's the option in the bookings of a board booking to on NRA board same family pets together. Checking this box will have that option automatically checked on every boarding you create. We also have the ability to turn off and on prompts for creating invoices in the system, and you'll see this for all modules. We have uh, prompt invoice creation at check-in, and we have disable invoice creation prompt upon checkout. Our default in the system is still a invoice creation prompt upon checkout, but you can turn that off, and you have the option to turn on one for check-in. the prompt for report card printing at checkout, you can turn off that or turn that on. And also prompt for a contract or kennel card at check-in. If you don't want to, that to appear upon check-in, you have the option to turn that prompt off. Specifically for boarding, we've also enhanced our board settings. You have more options here for setting up discounts or extra charges for customers based upon the time they drop off or pick up their pets. This uh, is gone over in much greater detail in our webinar on discount settings in Kennel Connection. Uh, but I'll just point out that under miscellaneous settings here, we have our usual three at the top. And then we have settings that require both a drop-off and pickup time to be determined for whether or not a charge or discount is applied. And then we have optional settings for extra charges based on the pickup or drop-off time and discounts based on the pickup or drop-off time. On the daycare tab, once again, we have set in date and time as blank. Daycare, we also have the option to disable check all in out feature to prevent any of your employees from checking all of your daycares in or out at the same time. We can also enable or disable prompts for invoices created at check-in or check-out. And we can also disable the prompt for contract or daycare card at check-in. On pet sitting, we also have the disable invoice creation prompt for check-in or check-out. And we have the all check all in or out disable feature. Under training, 
you're just going to see the ability to enable or disable the invoice creation at check-in or check-out or the disable check all in and out feature. Moving on to the list section, there have been some minor changes in the list section for setup. In Kennel Connection 5, you had the option to create boarding or daycare packages. There's our boarding packages and our daycare. We've now expanded our packages in Kennel Connection, so you can now create packages for grooming, pet sitting, or you can create packages for other items in the inventory section. At the moment, the only thing you cannot create packages for is for the training module. Uh, this is due to the unique way in which the training module functions. Uh, that is currently in uh, the works to have that added to that module. So at the moment, you will not be able to add any training options to a package. We have a, a webinar on the creation and management of packages. I do highly recommend checking that out. It goes into greater detail on how the packages work now under the new system. But basically, for creating a package for the individual one, you're going to click the new package, select the package service, and then like your daycare or boarding, enter your code, name, cost, and number of services. We also have uh, a special services tab. This is a new tab for our new module, the Special Services module. The Special Services module is a new module in which you can create your own custom uh, services to be scheduled on the schedule itself. It's really an overflow for any kind of services that you have uh, that do not fit into the molds created by the other modules or by the services options we have for feeding, boarding, uh, excuse me, feeding, medication, exercises, etc. For the special services module, you would go into the list section under the special services tab and create your services here. The setup for services under the special services tab uh, are very similar to the setup for the other services. Now we also have additions to our special rates tab. The only difference here is now you can change what these uh, extra charges are labeled when you add them to the invoice. So instead of having the system default and label it as a fee of some kind, you can pretty much create whatever label you want to attach it to, and that will show up in the description on the invoice. For our exercise, feeding, and medication services, we now have the option to mark individual services as not invoiceable. In Kennel Connection 5, the only option available for that was to go into the System Options section under the Local tab, under the Invoice tab, and choose whether or not to charge for exercises, medications, or feedings. This setting was across the board, so if you weren't going to invoice for medication charges, uh, none of those medications would show up on your invoices. Now under the new system, we can choose individual items to not show on the invoices. So you can have your un uninvoiced uh, feedings that you give for free and still have additional feedings that you do charge a rate for applying for the pet during their stay. Same thing for exercises and medications. Uh, since we're on exercises, one additional feature in Kennel Connection 6 for exercises is if we go to a booking in the system that has exercises set up for it, so if we go to this booking here and we have uh, an exercise set up for this pet, We now have the option to right click on the pet on the schedule and check the pet out for that exercise. 
So if the pet's going to leave the facility for a walk or it will be let into a play area, for example, we can mark that pet as being checked out for that exercise, meaning they're no longer in the facility, but they're in the process of having an exercise implemented. Then we can go back and check that pet in. And then on the exercise tab, we can print an audit trail or a timings report that will show all the times that this pet was checked in or out for that exercise. Also in every module, we now have a new audit trail attached specifically to bookings in the system. Open up any booking in the system that has already been created, go to the inventory tab, and you'll have a print audit trail button. When selected, this button will result in an audit trail that shows every modification that's been made to a booking since its initial creation. So if you need to track down who made changes to the, the uh, booking or find out what has happened to the booking since it's been created, you can use an audit trail just for that. This is on top of the full audit trail for the system, which is still available and accessible from the Utilities tab at the top of the program. Going back to the list section, another feature we've added, in Kettle Connection 5, you were able to set up runs and run sizes for boarding. We now have the option to, to create runs for grooming, daycare, and training as well. So if you have a facility where you are using runs uh, for multiple modules, or you have specific runs designated for each module, so if you have daycare runs and boarding runs, or you have runs that take both boarding or daycare, you can now set them up to either be for just one module or to be shared between modules. One change in the inventory section I want to point out, if we go to inventory, we still have the basic setup for all of our inventory items, but we have now added an expiration date for inventory items. So if there's an item you are selling or a service you are providing that you don't want to offer past a certain date, set the expiration date for that item, and that item will automatically become uh, inaccessible from the invoice dropdown once you exceed that expiration date. That way you can set the system up so employees do not inadvertently offer a service or a product after it is no longer technically available. One other major feature of the Kennel Connection 6 upgrade that I want to point out is if we go to our file tab, we have a discounts loyalty setup. The discounts and loyalty program are uh, gone over in greater detail in our discounts and loyalty setup webinar. I do highly recommend that webinar if you're looking for an idea of how to apply all of the discounts that are available in Kennel Connection 6 for customers. But uh, just as an overview, I'll point out that we have a general tab here where we can create discounts that can be selected from a drop-down in the invoice. We can create our individual discounts here, for example, a military discount, a senior citizen discount. You can choose whether a discount is set up as a percentage of the invoice or as a dollar amount. So in the discounts and loyalty setup under the general tab, you can not only set up your generic percentage discounts, you can also set up uh, a dollar amount for coupons, for example, or any kind of generic discount of a dollar amount. So you do not, you're not saddled with just applying percentage discounts to an invoice. You can now apply a dollar amount discount to an invoice. And once again, these will all appear in a dropdown on the invoice when created. And so... Once we have items on the invoice, the discount dropdown will appear. We can choose from this list, and the discount will be applied automatically. Then we have discounts for boarding, daycare, grooming, pet sitting, and training. We have the basic visit number equaling a percentage discount. And you can set these up in tiers. This is for each module. 
So for example, if we want to give a customer uh, a 5% discount after 10 visits, Kennel Connection will automatically track that, after which every invoice created for that customer uh, for boarding will receive a 5% discount on boarding specifically. Then we could have uh, after 25 visits, that gets bumped up to 15%. And then for my gold discount here, after 50 visits, this customer receives 20% off their boarding. So this is a way to give your customers discounts for uh, extended visits to your system, rewarding their loyalty to your facility. And that's for all of these. Boarding has an additional option. We can shoot, set up long-term discounts for a single boarding stay. Again, we have a dollar or percentage amount. And so we can say if a boarding stay is, lasts 10 days or longer, at that point we give them a 5% discount on that boarding stay. We can then say if they reach 20 days, we can bump that up to a 10% discount on that boarding stay. And then finally, if, they, if they're board a pet for a 30 day period or longer, I'm going to give them a 20% discount on that boarding stay. These will apply automatically in the system upon checkout and will be listed in the invoice as such. And beyond these discount options, we now have a loyalty program. This runs just like uh, any loyalty program, that, uh, for example, credit card miles or frequent flyer miles for airlines. Uh, they all work under the same assumption. We have a typical uh, dollar to point ratio, which you can set up yourself. Uh, the most common one is uh, one point for every dollar spent. And this is what you'll find with most uh, credit card point reward systems, for example. Uh, re, re, then the redemption would be for every 100 points you received, you, re, you can turn them in for $1, essentially giving the customer 1%. Uh, that's just an example of how you can set this up. You have the option to set your ratio to however you want to reward your customers. And, on, and these will be applied automatically upon payment of an invoice, not the creation of an invoice. So you'll be giving loyalty points to a customer only after payment has been received and there so they won't be able to use loyalty points racked up without having actually paid their bills and you can also preset uh, other club fee uh, op settings for example so let's say uh, you have a bronze membership where every time a customer comes not only do they get the regular regular loyalty point amount but if they scan their card with you or you put in a code name in this case bronze they'll be awarded an additional 100 points for showing up uh, based on that membership. If you want to set up something like that, that uh, option is here as well. And again, these are all going to show if we have our loyalty rewards set up. If we create an invoice for a customer, at the bottom you'll see loyalty program points on this invoice, and we'll have the option to award or redeem. If we want to redeem points and we click that, it's going to show how many points the customer currently has on their account, in this case 191. And if I click redeem, the system is going to take those points and automatically apply as many points that they have available to the invoice. So in this case, I've redeemed $1 worth. And then once we take payment on invoices, those additional points are added to the customer's account. And if we go to the financial tab, a customer's total loyalty points will be shown at the bottom of the screen as well. Those are some of the major changes to the Kennel Connection 6 program, upgrading from Kennel Connection 5. Uh, there are other smaller uh, changes within the system. Overall, there were over 250 additions or changes to the Kennel Connection program in the upgrade from 5 to 6, majority of them uh, coming from customer feedback. Uh, so this is just a, a sampling, although a large sampling of some of the major changes in the program. Uh, if you have any further questions regarding these uh, changes in Kennel Connection 6, or if you're demoing Kennel Connection 6 right now and you uh, do have further questions about these changes, please feel free to contact me directly. You can email me at scott at bluecrystalsoftware.com or you can call me at 888-486-4343, extension 307.